Scenario 4 is usually deployed on larger and sometimes more complex schemes, where potential incursions can hopefully be contained by an internal checkpoint, whilst also having the capability to warn the workforce directly if a closure point is not covered by the checkpoint. For this closure, there are unmanned full closures on the main line and a side road, whilst the workforce are protected on either side by an internal checkpoint and an airlock at the main entry point. As with Scenario 3, if a yellow PSA is activated by movement sensors within the lamps, the orange PSA at the checkpoint also alarms, warning the TM operatives at this point that there has been an incident. If the vehicle does not stop at the checkpoint, the alarms can be escalated from the orange PSA to the blue workforce alarms throughout the site, allowing the workforce to move to a place of safety. If an incident occurs at the entry point to site, the warning can be escalated from the red PSA directly to the blue workforce alarms throughout the site, allowing the workforce to move to a place of safety. Once the vehicle is off-site, closures have been re-established, and it has been deemed safe to do so, the designated responsible person will reset the alarms by pressing the reset button on the orange PSA, returning all PSAs on site back to green.